Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we're looking at a very special release from Goose Island Brewing. This is their Sophie Paradisi. Now, you guys have probably had their Sophie. It's a year-round offering from them. It's a wild saison aged in uh, white wine barrels with oranges. Sophie Paradisi is that base beer in white wine barrels with Brett, except instead of oranges, they aged it, um, they blended it with grapefruit juice and aged it on grapefruit peels to even bring out more of a citrus flavor to it. Coming in at 6.7% alcohol by volume. Draft only, that's the bad news. I gotta give a huge, huge thanks to my buddy Jeff over at Brasky Beverage. Definitely check out their Facebook site here. He managed to get a sixth of it at his house and poured me this uh, kind of 16 ounce swing top mini growler of it for me to review. So I gotta give a huge, huge thanks to him and definitely check out their website. Sophie for me is just one of my favorite year round offerings from Goose Island. It's a great beer. Very, very slightly funky, but definitely a solid Saison. Love it, so I really wanna check Check out what the grapefruit's doing to it. So let me get into a glass so you guys know how it smells, tastes. Give the final verdict on Goose Island's Sophie Paradisi. All right, guys, to the aroma on the Sophie Paradisi. Wow, yeah, big, big grapefruit characteristics, grapefruit juice, kind of that pungent sourness, uh, definitely getting some grapefruit peel, a big kind of lemon citrus to this one, a little bit of funk, a very, very light bread characteristic, but definitely there, definitely getting some oakiness from the wine barrel, a little bit of a, like a Chardonnay type of flavor, nice breadiness. A little bit of a sweetness, almost like, almost like a pineapple sweetness, probably from the brett, but it plays off that grapefruit really, really nice. Just a super complex but refreshing smelling beer. All right, guys, so the taste on the Sophie Paradisi. Cheers. Oh, wow, it's really, really nice. Right at the front of the tongue, immediately hit with a grapefruit uh, juiciness, a sour type of juiciness in there. Grapefruit rind and get that juice big time. A little bit of the Chardonnay barrel definitely coming through. Again, uh, in the middle of the mouth, you start to get this big kind of dry breadiness that you would expect in a Saison. A little bit of a cracker type of Belgian finish on this one. Definitely a little bit of funkiness in the middle of the mouth, that, that leathery, wet barnyard, hay type of flavor in there, but very, very subtle. Not overly aggressive at all. It's there more or less to just kind of help play off some of the other characteristics. More grapefruit juice, a little bit of a tropical vibe in the middle of the mouth. Uh, again, a, little, a pineapple type of sweetness, kind of counterbalancing the grapefruit juice a little bit. Super, super dry finish. I mean, a champagne or white wine type of finish in this one. A little bit of an oak tannin uh, type of flavor in the, in the finish. More of that grapefruit juice. A little bit of a, a spicy kind of fruity note, earthy note in the back as well. Probably, again, from that bread, but just a very, very refreshing Yet complex, yet very drinkable beer. Just awesome stuff. All right, guys, the final verdict on Sophie Paradisi, and I apologize, this is again a draft only beer, but guys, this one is gonna get an A from me. The regular Sophie for me is one of my favorite Goose Island offerings, and really one of my favorite beers, definitely in my top 20. It's clean, it's refreshing, but it's complex and interesting, and the Paradisi really just takes that to the next level, adding that grapefruit juice, adding the grapefruit peel, adding that extra citrus element, really helps to kind of play off some of the Brett characteristics and kind of the dryness on the Saison kind of elevate this beer to the next level. Super drinkable, just super clean and refreshing, yet, again, I've said it, complex, which is the key to make a really, really kind of high-end but approachable, tasty beer. Just awesome stuff and getting an A for me, and I definitely go out of your way to get this one if you can. Getting an A for me, and remember folks, slice too short, drink amazing beers. Cheers.